So how about some rounded stones? Or paving stones? Welcome to Hunting for Wabbits, Episode 7. Stone, out of my mind! When I have to render anything in stone, I like to know where each stone will fall. So before I start rendering, I usually lay it out in this pattern. So you can just draw any line and then lay out your stone in that way. So I do it again here, but this time I'll just do it in pencil because I want it to disappear when I have to start rendering. As usual, I like to start my renders by wetting my entire paper and then laying down a nice wash of color. In this case, I'm using a gray color and then since I want some dimension, I will make some parts light and some parts darker. Now once everything is dry, I start by rendering each individual stone. In this case, you will see that before I apply the paint, I usually wet that part of the stone only and then apply my paint on the sides of the stone and then just let the color run along with the water. This gives you a nice gradation of color and it will also give you a natural looking highlight. As you move along, just repeat that same pattern and since this is stone, you would like to change some of the patterns a bit. So you can add some colors in the middle, you don't have to keep them all white like in the first few stones that I did. And just keep on doing it for the remaining stones. Now for the next part, I would recommend that you let everything dry out first. If you have a hair dryer, use it. Then, to increase the contrast of the colors, you can start putting in a darker color. You can transition from a gray to a black this time. And then, if you want a little more texture in your stone, you can start adding veins along the stones. And if you want to learn more about this technique, you can check my previous video on how to do marble veining, which is very similar to the technique that I'm using here. Now you have to judge by yourself and see which parts would need some more darker tones and just adjust accordingly. Now for the second technique in creating stones, this one is more of a paving stone. You can use this kind of technique when you want to show stones on the floors. I already did an earlier sample on top. Here at the bottom, I'll show you how to do it, but I would like to explore using other colors. So I'm using a little bit of a green because some stones do have a green color. So I start by putting in a random wash in one direction. So here it's in a diagonal. Once everything is dry, you can lay out your stone using a pale gray color. So you can mark out where each stone will start and where each one will end. If you want to add some graining or veining inside the stone, just follow the general direction of where you put in the under layer of the stone. As you can see, I am not very concerned about making the lines connect or making the lines even. This is because stone is a natural material and I want to make it look a little bit rough, a little bit worn down. Now once you've laid out everything or placed an outline on each stone, I'm going to put a darker color in between the stones to represent the shadows. Now here, I'm thinking that the light source is coming from the left side of the stone. So when I put the shadows on each stone, 
I'm just going to put them on two sides of the stone. In this case, the shadows are on the right side and at the bottom side. So this will inform people who are seeing your rendering that the light source is coming from the left side. Now to increase contrast, because contrast is a very important aspect in rendering, you can add some darker veins in between your stone. And there you have it, paving stones and a rounder, smoother stone. Thanks for watching! If you like this video, please subscribe and share it with your friends. And if you have any questions, please leave them at the comments section below. Thank you and I hope to see you in my next videos.